Hi guys, uh, I thought I would do a quick guide on sieges for Warband. Now, Sean here is uh, defending a siege, which is pretty self-explanatory, but the method you want to use is just to stand on the walls, preferably in cover if you can, and just hack overhead. Uh, enemies as they come up, as a powerful character, you can really make a difference here, um, and take out a number of enemies, helping your troops to win the day with minimal losses. Uh, to do an overhand strike, you need to sort of move the right hand lock up to direct the strike. I only found this out quite deep into the game. Uh, you can control the direction of your strikes with the right hand lock stick on Xbox. And that's all there is really to defending. Uh, it's just a case of doing this over and over again until they run out of men. So now I'm going to show you some textbook assaults on sieges which uh, you will spend a lot of time doing if you're going for the achievement which involves taking over the whole map as your own faction. Now it's actually easier, believe it or not, to attack with ladders rather than a siege tower. Uh, the siege tower brings a lot of delays, whereas a ladder is straight in there. Uh, you want to get up there pretty early with your troops. As I'm going to demonstrate here, hack your way onto the battlements and then choose a side. Go down that side and clear it as best you can. Get rid of any struggling archers because archers at the size of your troops will cause mass casualties. You don't want this. You want to take out the archers, get rid of them. So, as I'm showing here, you might need to stand here for a while doing overhead hacks too carve away through the troops and then fight your way down this battlement and take out groups of archers that are at the sides picking off your troops once you've done this then you can join the rest of your men and just try and make the battle as quick and as painless as possible minimising your losses now in sieges, you'll get a constant feed of enemy reinforcements. Uh, every time you kill a few, a number will appear. And if you sort of control your men uh, effectively and control the position, and you can get to a point where they're just feeding you um, little groups of men, little groups of enemies to to be hacked to death by a big gaggle of your troops. If you get it wrong. Um, you could have a situation like you can see down there a, a massive group of archers peppering your troops from the side as they're locked in a melee uh, which can result in disaster pretty quickly so what I'm doing here is I'm basically trying to act as a one man army and uh, I'm moving around to flank the archers because I can see the amount of damage they could, occur, uh, they could inflict on my troops here it's quite a risky move, but it's worthwhile if you ask me, because the amount of damage these archers will do to your army is uh, horrendous. So you want to do your best to try and get rid of any groups of archers. Once you get towards uh, level 20, I'd suggest that you should be strong enough to do this. Just got to be careful, take it slow. Um, try and draw a few at a time and try not to get overwhelmed but as you can see I'm killing loads of archers here and it does really make a big difference to the amount of losses you will incur during a siege assault so you might need to prompt your men sometimes um, a very useful command during a siege is the everyone follow me and you can direct your troops to a group of archers like this. And sometimes they might focus on the wrong areas. Um, as a priority, you really want to get rid of a massive group of archers in the middle of the courtyard. And this happens in a lot of castles and a lot of towns. You just get a big group of archers just camping, basically. Waiting for your troops to appear and then peppering you with a uh, volley of arrows after volley of arrows and it's devastating so as you can see I'm just concentrating on clearing them out 
with uh, overhead swings, I highly recommend the Bastard Sword as you can use both one-handed and two-handed depending on the situation. Uh, the two-handed overhead swing is brilliant for taking out enemies quickly providing you've got a few points into power strike. Uh, so you'll be able to see here uh, the results. It's pretty minimum losses and maximum deaths inflicted. Uh, also important is you want to have a member of your party, preferably Jeremus the Doctor, with a high amount of points into surgery and wound treatment so that you minimise your deaths and a lot of your troops will get wounded instead of uh, dying which makes a big difference to the longevity of your um, campaign as obviously the more of your troops die the quicker your campaign is going to come to an abrupt end because you'll run out of troops uh, and you want to constantly feed your army with new troops if as and when you can um, this is a town assault is it usually considerably harder than a castle and usually have a lot more troops but the same principles apply hack your way onto the battlement pick a side take out the groups of archers that are lurking there and then concentrate in on helping your troops get into the middle of the map and take out the inevitable group of skirmishes or archers that are going to be there. Uh, I mean, the video is fairly self-explanatory. I've provided some commentary just for a bit of clarity. Um, but I cannot think of much else to tell you about sieges other than you need high quality troops uh, I'd say you need at least a party of 100 and over 50% of your troops need to be elite. And I suppose it doesn't really matter which faction you choose, although I'd recommend the Nords. The Nord Huskals are by far the best siege assault troop. Swadian Knights, close second, uh, but they really do take a lot of punishment uh, and inflict a lot of damage, and that's what you want during a siege. Um, you can make a big difference with a strong character and you can literally turn the tide of a battle and influence the outcome uh, in terms of losses and kills inflicted. Uh, as I'm showing here again, you, you know, you're taking out these groups of archers that would be firing volleys of arrows into your, the flanks of your troops and killing loads of your men. Why wouldn't you want to prevent that? Um, just trying to think if I've missed anything. If you, yeah, this is good. If you can get around the back of uh, a gang of troops like this and start hacking them from behind, that uh, is very useful as well. Although you've got to watch out for groups of reinforcements going up behind you, like uh, is happening here, as you can get caught out. And uh, even if you are, uh, tough. I think fit my character is about level 30 here. Uh, only takes a few shots uh, for you to die still. You've got to be pretty careful. Um, yep, another flanking manoeuvre. It's, uh, you shouldn't underestimate the amount of damage you can cause as one person. Uh, to an enemy army it is massive and obviously you can see I'm killing loads and it's helping my troops progress to the middle quicker uh, which is always good because it just means that the archers have left less, uh, less time to fire volleys at you um, so these videos are taken during the course of going for the Golden Throne achievement, which is take over the whole of Calradia. It is a big grind. Um, I'm currently writing a guide for true achievements. It's going to be quite in depth. If you're curious about this achievement and you want to help with it, then check out the guide. 
Uh, alternatively, ask any questions you might have on here and I will answer uh, best I can. Um, at the end of the video, I provide some evidence that I have actually got the achievement, so I feel I am qualified to advise on it now. Uh, it is quite a big undertaking, but it's very doable as long as you've got patience and some skill and knowledge of the game. It's not horrendous. Um, I'll just quickly as well touch on a glitch. This is very common on all versions of the game where a faction uh, won't die. It happened to be in the last one and it just... Don't worry, you've just got to find every uh, lord and track them down as I'm doing here. Locate them, uh, keep reloading your save until you capture them. Once you've captured all the lords, the faction will disappear. Uh, I was getting pretty stressed as it had gone on for a, a few hours with me, yeah. Uh, Sounding insulting it, not disappearing, but once I captured them, another day passed, that was it, it ended, and I got the achievement, so I worry not. Um, any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I will do my utmost to help anyone who uh, may be struggling with this achievement. Uh, I hope the video is useful. I'm sorry if I have uh, waffled on a bit and repeated myself. I do tend to do that sometimes. Uh, I'm not great at uh, speaking for long periods of time, so please forgive me. Uh, thanks for your attention. And please provide me with some feedback uh, in the comments section. Thank you.